What is going on, you lovely, beautiful people? It is myself, John from the Gamer here. Welcome to you to another episode of the Saga Lock. It is episode 291. In the last episode, you guys got the, the opportunity, the splendid, wonderful opportunity, to murder a Pokemon. Y'all chose to murder our lovely, lovely Froakie that we didn't have a name for. So, you know what? Makes total sense. Understandable. Have a great day. But today, we got to give you a team recap for the new mons on the party. So, our newest mon that we added in response was Brock, our lovely Rattle Boot, who is Terrifier, but it's it says normal, and there's a reason for it. It's fine. Uh, with high horsepower, Fissure, order up and lock on. Yes! Uh, well, guaranteed Fissures! Yes, Queen! We have it. Nice. Okay. And we have Trudy. Quiver Dance, Flame Charge, Overdrive, Sunny Day. Had the chance to learn Flink. I said no. Doesn't matter if I'm throwing items. Like, I don't have items to throw. We have Nolan with the Mortal Spin, Foul Play, Earthquake, and Spark. We've got Whale About with Ancient Power, Liquidation, Earthquake, and Lava Plume. We have Squidward with Disarming Voice, Burning Jealousy, Heat Wave, and Sleep Powder. And then we got Go One with Frost Breast, Muddy Water, First Impression, and Brave Bird. Today, 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 we will be going to be taking on the very first gym, which is exciting and scary at the same exact time. We love exciting and scary, because, you know, you can't have the exciting without the scary. Yeah, so, I'm most definitely nervous about the contents of today's episode, but it is going to be what it is. Also, there's supposed to be an Ultra Ball, but it's a normal Pokeball, so, my apologies. Locking on, if you press the ZL button... You can lock on to nearby Pokemon, meaning that you will keep your sights set on it. Once you're locked on, throw the Pokeball with the ZR button and it'll let you start a battle. Oh, did you already know that? Well, I hope my tidbits will come in handy later on. Come again whenever you need. Yep, I already knew that. Welcome to the Pokemart. I would like to buy some Super Potions. Can we? No, we cannot. Well, gosh dang it, Mr. Man. You don't give me what I want. Just give me what I want. I'll be happy. Uh, hi, hair across a doodle. Can I have you? Can I take your hair across a doodle? Also, he is buff. Okay. Hi, buff dude. Can I have your hair across a doodle? That'd be great, honestly. Thank you for the warm welcome. Also love him. Like, hey, buff dude. What do you want? <laughs> so... This is going to be an interesting thing because this is where we officially kind of get to find out the gym situation. Is it going to be Terra Bug guaranteed or is it going to be actually true randomized? I'm nervous. I'm Or will the, her final mon be a bug? We'll find out. I'm going to run straight into this gym because her ace is level 15. I think she has three Pokemon. Oh my gosh, hey! You came to see the gym! Oh my god, that can only mean that you're going out to set down the gym badges! Oh my goodness! Oh my gosh, I knew it! I'm so glad I asked you to do it! Before you can battle with the gym leader, you've got to pass a certain challenge set by them. Their gym test. Every gym test is different, so if you ask the lobby staff about it, they'll tell you what's up. Here's... Here have these when you use them consider them consider me healing every pokemon super potions yep thank you namona ah i'm so glad you're aiming to be a champion too this is the best news i could have ever received man i am so excited i can barely stand guess i'll just go battle every trainer i run into you do that welcome to the quantando gym let me register you as a challenger. Your name's John, correct? Great. Now, in order to face gym leader Katie, you'll need to first pass the gym test. Here at the Cordano, Corantondo Gym, this means taking on the olive roll. Olive production is a big part of life in the Corantondo. We've held the Olive Harvest Festival here each year for generations to usher the bumper crops. To pass our gym test, you'll need to roll an olive-shaped ball all the way to the goal. Your efforts will help ensure that we get a great olive harvest next year, too. The staff are over olive rolling fields will help explain you in further detail. I'll register the location of your map. It's just a little bit north of town. 
Now, get out there and have some fun. Take part in the olive roll. Okay. What's interesting about this is it's very Gen, Gen 8-like. What is behind me? Is that like a person? Or is that a Pokemon I don't know about? It could literally be either, I'm not sure. This is area two still. Oh, hold on. Why? I hate that it still counts as the same area. Like, it's kind of, it's kind of frustrating that everything kind of counts as the same area, which means that we're going to have limited encounters in this run, and that, that makes, means we have to be extremely safe. And I don't know, I feel like a little risk here and there would be fun, but games, games telling us we're not allowed to, it's just unfortunate. Also, yes, I know I'm going the wrong way. It's okay. Don't fret. I'm trying to figure out what the heck this little spot on the map is. I'm not sure. Rookies, bunnelbees. What the heck are you even? Oh, you're a wheelbarrow. Me thinking you're a Pokemon. It's just literally just a wheelbarrow. Good job, me. There's some Dinos. Thomantis. There really isn't anything crazy popping out, which... In a way, I'm okay with. The olive rolls right over here. That's a fat eye olive. Why is the olive so big? What's the car? What's the game that has the car in it? There's like a game with a car. It's not CSGO. It's... Gosh, I can't remember the name of the game and it's actually bugging me now. Uh, it's Rocket League. Rocket League. Rocket League. That's the name. That I'm, that's the game I'm thinking of. I wonder if I'm not supposed to be on Maridon for this. Probably not. I'm probably comp further complicating it. What? I'm doing something wrong, clearly. Yeah, see, it's going away. What am I doing wrong? 
I must not have triggered an event. Oh, I just didn't talk to her. Wow, nice. Welcome to the Olive Rolling Field. The gym test is all about stamina. You need to push with all you've got to get a large olive ball rolling and make it all the way to the end. Get the ball over various obstacles, then push it to the goal to clear the coolers. Now that you're filled in, are you ready to take this gym test? Yeah, I'm so ready. I was thought I was doing it. I guess it's in a way though it's good to get like a feel of the physics of the ball. Is there a timer? Oh god, there's probably a timer, isn't there? Nice. No, okay, well, well, we'll do it the right way. No. Are you trying to do things in fancy ways? Oh, nice. I feel like I'm cheating. I passed the gym test! Woo! I didn't think there was gonna be a gym test, but I passed it! We did good! Roll this big fat olive that isn't actually an olive. With performance, with that performance, I'm sure we can look forward to your all great olive harvest next year. I'm happy to declare you the gym test officially cleared. Congratulations. Report yourself to the lobby staffer at the gym. Good luck in, in your battle against Katie. Oh, uh, we'll try. Shinks and stuffs. Back at Quarantondo. Half of me wants to level up because I'm nervous and scared, but if I I'm gonna be nervous and scared regardless, I think, so I should just do it. Welcome back. I hear you were on a roll up there. Oh my gosh. Big congratulations from me. Successfully clearing the gym test. You are now on the right to the gym challenge. Best of luck. Are you ready to take on this... Katie, the sugar bug? Sure. If your name's the sugar bug, I'm ready to take care of you. Very well. Let me just show you to the battle court. My anxiety monster. Eat up, cute little pavilion. Pavilion. Oh, what a lovely trainer you are. Thank you so very much. Your skillful olive rolling is quite impressive. Oh, did I, did I forget to introduce myself? Forgive me. 
My name is Katie, and I'm the owner of the Passatier Salt Berry. Oh, that's right. I'm not in my shop. It is my duty as a leader of the Contora, Contoratondo Gym now. Forgive me. My name is, um, Katie, and I am the gym leader here in Cortondo. My main line of work is crafting sweets as a pastry chef. My little sweets bring happiness with one bite. Bug Pokemon, Pokemon hiding in a foliage. Both are small and yet quite very powerful. Don't let your guard down unless you want to find yourself knocked off your feet. Ready to lose Pokemon, yes, yes, yes. Ready to lose Pokemon, yes, yes, yes. You've been challenged by Katie. Katie sent out a Dreepy. Okay, Katie, I see you. Don't take my bug Pokemon lightly. You will be in a world of pain if you do. Dreepy. I'm going to start with a high horsepower, I think. Oh, I actually could have ordered up, and that was super effective. Oh, that actually mattered, too. I slowed myself down big time. Yikes. What a good start to this battle. I haven't battled in a hot minute and haven't used freaking Barak, so don't blame me. Raging Bull. What is that? That's a new attack. I don't know what it does. Dreepy has fainted. Iron Thorns! Oh, that's our first Paradox Pokemon. Hi, Whaleabout. How are you doing today? I think you should be utilized! Oh, boy. Which, what are, which one are you? Are you the one I think you are? Iron Thorns. You are the one I thought you were. Okay. I was like, I don't remember who you are. But you're something. EQ. No, 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 no! Oh my gosh. Can we not with the quad weakness ex ex freaking ex problems? We've been having a lot of problems with quad weaknesses lately. Oh, I started with an L. I want to say it said Lilligant. Oh, you're quite good. How should I roll from thing roll things from here? Lechon. Hmm, are you gonna t this is the real test. Are you gonna tear a bug or are you gonna tear a Norma? Terra Norma, Terra Normal. Now my little Pokemon, time to break free from your cocoon and come on your own. That looks like a normal Terra. That look, I don't know if it is or not, but we'll find out. It is. Okay, Terra Norma. Agility. I think this is 140 base power. Oh, now it even is. Yes, 140 base power, 100% accurate. Bop. Wow, that did nothing. But it got the burn. Badge one secured after that burn. Badge one for sure secured. Let's go. She threw out a pair to our first ever paradox. She threw out some stuff. Oh my gosh. This could have this would have hurt a lot, but luckily we are. It is wow! Even burned it did that much i mean i get we're not a defensive pokemon at all but wow uh i don't think i can do i have any rock types no i don't
I'm gonna play it safe, I think. Although, I'm scared this might not go well. And that's it. That's the fight. That Those tears are going to be the best of us, though. Like, look at what they're doing and what they're able to do because of the Terra. The Terra is actually the type of the Pokemon, which is actually m mega scary. Because that was a Lechonk. That was not like any other Pokemon. And imagine if that was like Iron Thorns that was the Paradoxmon. All my sweet little Pokemon dropped like flies. Here's $2,700. Well, I appreciate the $2,700, ma'am. Your strength rose during our battle like a nice bread in the oven. I feel that I may need to work on my own strength as well, thanks to you. Congratulations. As proof as your victory against me, allow me to present you with this gym badge. I hope you'll enjoy it alongside a heaping serving of some of my deluxe handmade treats. Is she going to give me poffins too? No, it's actually going to be treats for me. It's not poffins. With one gym badge in your possession, Pokemon up to level 25 will be easier to catch and will listen to your commands as well. So you have quite the appetite as well. So how to TM as a frosting on this cake? Pounce. Okay. Once you've found a TM during your travels, you can use the TM machine and make copies of that TM. Did you know that? No, actually, I didn't know that's how that worked. I wish you luck in your future adventures. May this stay be as sweet and lovely as a good dessert. Off you go, then, until we meet. Roto-to-to-to-to-to. We're getting a call from Namora, I figured. Hey, hey, hey! Just had to tell you that my Pokemon are learning some pretty cool new moves. Be ready. How did your first gym go? I passed it. Yes! Uh, I mean, it was obviously going to pass, but congratulations. I am so glad I encouraged you to take on the gyms. Nice job, passed me. I'm training so hard too, by the way, day and night, going all over the place to boot. Thank goodness we've got a map app that helps us with a ton of figuring out where to go next, especially in a huge place like Valdea. After all, the path of getting stronger usually has some strange stops and detours. Speaking of, of strange pages, I wonder what Arvin's up to. Anyway, catch you later. I hope you and I are going to want to bat- or I know you and I are going to want to battle when we run into each other. So the real question for me is can I get an encounter in Coratando? Like where does it turn into Area 2? Right here. I'm going to assume it does something similar on this side. Yeah. So there really is no other encounters that I can realistically get. Which is kind of sad. Because I kind of want more. What is this? All around Pate may spot gleaming crystals emitting brilliant beams of light. If you investigate one, you'll be able to take on a terror raid battle. Try defeating powerful tower terror Pokemon. Oh, it's like a... T okay. I can't use those. I see what they are. That makes sense, though. What are you? Are you another Hatterene thing? Yeah, we've seen a... Oh, that's a Shellos. So that's not a Pokeball. <laughs> I straight up almost, I almost went for it. I was like, oh, Pokeball, let me grab it. No, that's a Shellos. Okay, well, I think since I cannot get any other encounters, that it's my in my best interest to just fly. Like, even though I obviously want stuff.
Oh, nice. Bulk up. That's a good move. Yeah, like, even if though I obviously want to get more things, I just don't have the ability to right now. Oh, our first hyper potion. Interesting. Because we're here, right? It's the Terra Normal spot. That's Terra Quarantondo. Is this all considered area two? Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Los Platos. Yeah, we weren't able to get anything because this was the Poco Path, which was this into Los Platos area. Which led us up here. Which didn't turn into anything. Is west what led us down this pathway? It is. Okay. Let's go to Mezengoza then. First, fly there, heal, and then figure out... Because our next objective is... I believe I checked as a Charizard, so thank goodness I did... I believe our next objective would be making it to Gym 2 area. Yep, it is second gym. Whew, dude, our girl whale about has given us way too many scares recently. I'm like, girl, what are you doing? Why can you give us 800? I already did that. I need that. So what I want to do is I think I want to head this way. Nope, I do not. Oh, look at that. They actually put two things in our path that we have to do. This is next, and this is the after that. Look at that. That's what we call good game design. Wow. And the other girl that we have to fight is right there, too. So, I mean, that's going to be a huge, expansive area. It's just a matter of getting there. The other door. Hasn't changed yet. Why haven't we changed locations yet? I wonder when it officially changes. We might be able to get two Pokemon here.
What the heck? Why aren't we getting a, uh... Is this considered Route 3 or not? I'm confused. I mean, I could have very well missed it, but I don't think I did. That I didn't know, but I don't really care about it. Roto, do, 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 do. Arvin's like, you are getting closer to the cliff area. I know, but level-wise, that's not next. Medium experience candy. Like, I feel like I'm in area three, or that route that it was talking about, but yet... The game has said, no, you're not. So I have to follow what the game's telling me. So it's most definitely like if the game's saying no. Oh, that's a change. So that's a new area. Okay, yeah, I was. I was right, okay. Well then in that case, let me grab the side of it and then close my eyes and do my thing. A rare bone. Money. A nugget. More money. Okay. So we have two encounters to get. I'm going to look at you guys because I'm not allowed to see Pokemon. Oh my god, I can see Pokemon like that. Oh, got something. A snow run. Oh my god, it's not a Zora. It's a Zoroa. Whoa. Okay, I wasn't. Okay, that's not what I was expecting to get. I'm actually quite happy with that. I'm going to throw a great ball immediately. See if that'll catch it. Because it might. It is a Zora. Yo! Okay. Happy me. Yes. We're going to give her a nickname. Or him a nickname. He's going to be named... Mike the Zoroa. Mike is holding money. Get them stacks of cash. Commander. When this Pokemon enters a battle, if it goes inside the mouth of a Dondozo, the one, if one is on the field, the Pokemon then issues commands from there. It's very niche. Magnetic Flux, Giga Drain, Screech, and Steel Beam. Okay. I can't add you to the party, but... Oh, I was close to some Tynamos. I 
I want to know what you are. If I go straight, will it still say area? Will it turn to area five? Or is it... Oh! It's the Pokemon that everybody says Joy is. Apparently. Okay, no. It's because I just... Uh, went... Okay. Okay, I gotta close my eyes in three, two, one. Got it. A Marini. Think like this obviously I have to go in to Squidward here. See what this thing can do. Eerie impulse. That's fine actually. That makes it so I can hit you if I need to. Which I might, because you are level 17. Nope, apparently I don't. Easy capture. Is that Gwen that wants to learn Leech Seed? It is. It's better than Brave Bird, in my opinion. Male Marini. <clears throat> I'm going to name you. Aaron. Aaron the Marini. Because I miss Aaron. That's what I thought it was. Okay. Aaron Summary. A Keyberry. Guard Dog. Boost the Pokemon's attack if intimidated. Move. If, in if intimidated moves and items would force the Pokemon to switch out. Oh. So where the heck are we even? Map a doodle. I am so glad I didn't get you. I would have been mad. Okay, we're going away from the gym. Why doesn't it say anything about this being area five thing? Oh, there you go. South Providence Area 5. So there's a bunch of areas in each Providence, it seems. So we could we go here to South Providence Area 1, then? And get an encounter here, too, technically speaking? Okay, we haven't been to that destination yet, so maybe not. I'm going to try it. Actually, no, I should probably save it for the next episode. In the next episode, you guys will be seeing some extra additional encounters. Um, I'm going to figure out when certain Pokemon evolve to see kind of what needs to be changed or added to the team. Because this team looks very interesting and very cool to use. Uh, but we'll see you guys in the next episode when I do that. Love you all. Bye.